All right, that's it for the step up auto transformer. Let's do the same, but let's compare it to this one. So on the right, is this a step up or step down auto transformer? And how can we tell? Are we stepping up or stepping down? Yeah, this is a step down. How do we know? What are my turns on the secondary? Here's V secondary from here to here. So my turns are from here to here. So let's call this, here's our common winding, right? What's the turns on the primary? Here's V primary from here to here. So my primary winding is from here all the way down to here. Let's call this N series. I have more turns on my primary from top all the way to bottom than I do from the common node bottom. So that means N2 is greater than N1. So our voltage is stepping down. Now, is this a boost or is this a buck auto transformer? This is a buck. Again, buck typically just means you're stepping down by a small amount, right? 4%, 5%. Same thing with boost, you'd be stepping up by a small percent. All right, let's do the same thing. Calculate the transformer ratio. All right, what's the variable for transformer ratio? It's just A. What is A equal to? A always equal, equals this number divided by this number. Doesn't matter if it's step up or step down, right? A equals this number divided by this number, right? That's the ratio. A equals N1 divided by N2. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you all sorts of tricks for applying this to transformers without having to write the formula out. This formula can uh, lead to a lot of mistakes actually. So. I'm gonna show you a lot of uh, quick mental shortcuts I like. All right, what's N1 equal to in terms of N common and N series? What is N equal to N1? Let's see, here's N1, here's V primary, here's N1 from here all the way to here. So we're gonna sum these turns in series, N series plus N common. We have N series plus N common. All right, what's N2 equal to? Well, here's V secondary from here to here. So N2 is gonna be from here to here. And that's just N common. All right, what's the relationship with our voltage? It's gonna be just like before. Remember, what's the trick to remember it? I like to remember that the voltage variables, primary and secondary, are gonna be equal to our turns variables. So here's the primary number of turns. So that means this is the primary voltage. Here's the secondary number of turns. That means this is the secondary voltage. And then I just remember that the current is flip-flopped. It's just the silly way that, uh, that it makes sense to me. In other words, if this is our primary number of turns and our primary voltage, then this is the secondary current. And this is, if this is the secondary number of turns and the secondary voltage, then this is the primary current. Notice the only difference between these two formulas is your transformer ratio with respect to your common winding in your series winding, see that? All right, KCL relationship. And I gotta, I gotta hide these next time. This is too easy. Um, so I already gave it away. We know that the common current is entering this common node, right? But how do we know that? Look, this is flowing up, over here it's flowing down. Is this the voltage step up or step down auto transformer? This is the voltage step down, right? If this voltage is stepping down, who can tell me in the chat, what is my current doing on the secondary side? Yeah, current goes up. Good job, Lori. If my current is flowing up, and you know another really easy way to think about it, look, current is flowing up, current is flowing up. That's it, here it's even easier. Current is flowing down, current is flowing down. It makes it even easier. Um, but from a KCL perspective, if my current is increasing, that means V secondary this time is greater than what? Than I primary, right? Here V secondary was less than I primary. So if my current on the secondary side is bigger than I primary, I primary enters this node. For V secondary to be bigger, I have to have some other current also entering this node. And guess what? It's gonna be I common. So again, KCL means that current entering a node is equal to current leaving a node. So what current is entering this node? I've got two of them. Who can tell me in the chat, what are the two currents entering this node? I've got I primary, right? Yep, good job. Plus I common equals, I've got one current leaving this time and it's I secondary. Looking at this KCL relationship, is I secondary bigger than I primary? Yeah, of course. It's bigger by how much? 
by an increase in IC. So now I secondary is greater than I primary. That's how you remember what direction your common current is flowing. You gotta be careful with auto transformers. Your, this KCL relationship is where you can, it's gonna make or break you for auto transformers because you're gonna plug in this relationship here and this relationship here, typically in the power formulas. So if you're summing when you should be subtracting or subtracting when you should be summing, you're gonna end up with the wrong value. So this is typically really what's most important to, to understand. Again, do you have to memorize it? I really don't think you do. Um, as long as you can, as long as what I'm saying makes sense and you can kind of work your way through it, it's easy to derive. I don't memorize this stuff either. When I work an auto transformer problem, I look at it and I think, hmm, is the voltage going up? Is the voltage going down? Is the current going down or is the current going up? I go through that same thought process. All right, let's calculate the power and the common and series winding. We're gonna use the same single phase apparent power formula. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that over here. And just like before, let's start with the power in the common winding. So the power in the common winding is gonna be the voltage across the common winding and the current through the common winding. What's my voltage in my common winding? for this transformer, the step-down transformer, has it changed? Yeah, it sure has. Look, here's my common winding from here to here. So my voltage across that common winding is from here to here, it's V secondary. So now V common is really equal to V secondary. What's the current flowing through my common winding? Well, we know it's just IC, I common. Again, notice that there's a difference here compared to over here. You can't just, you can't just uh, plug and play, you gotta be careful. All right, series winding. So again, we're gonna start with the apparent power formula. And this, this is how I do everything, to be honest. I write the bare bones version of the formula, no subscripts, and then I identify the subscripts based on what I'm solving for, and then I actually look at the diagram to see their numerical values. So apparent power, single phase formula says apparent power equals voltage times current. If I wanna know the apparent power in my series winding, then I need to know the voltage across my series winding and the current through my series winding, right? What's the voltage across my series winding? Well, let's check. Voltage across my series winding is from here to here. From here to here is V primary. From here to here is V secondary. So if I wanna know V series, I'm gonna subtract V primary from V secondary. So now I have V primary minus V secondary. Again, look, careful, it's different. All right, what's the current flowing through my series winding? Here's my series winding. I wanna know what's the current flowing through it. I can just back up. There's no other node adding or subtracting current. So the current flowing here is the same as the current flowing here. It's just gonna be I primary. So times I primary. And again, what's, who can tell me what's the relationship between common current, I'm sorry, common winding power, there we go, and series winding power. They're equal, just like before, they're equal. All right, how about um, any change to calculating the power in and out? Remember, efficiency is equal to one, which means my power in equals my power out, or the power going in on the primary side is equal to the power leaving on the secondary side, or S1 equals S2, right? Subscripts don't matter as long as you're plugging in the right numbers. Yeah, no different, VP times IP equals VS times IS. Notice this is a parent power. What if I wanted the real power in watts? What if I wanted watts instead of a parent power? What would I do? What would I do? Yeah, power factor, good job. I would say, um, I would say P equals a parent power times power factor. If your power factor is unity, you don't gotta worry about this because power factor is equal to one. All right, <clears throat> uh, questions here on the auto transformer. I'm gonna zoom out so we can see the whole thing. Uh, who here is having major light bulb moments on this slide? Typically this is a great slide for really kind of making sense of this. Usually auto transformers are very difficult at first because these formulas are just kind of thrown at you. If you understand where they come from, if you've, if you've gone through this and if you struggle here or this is new to you, I say just do this on your own. Give yourself a day or two, print out this page from the completed notes print out the empty page again from the workbook notes, try to work it through all the way that you can by yourself and only peek when you need to. Keep doing that every couple of days until you can do it on your own. What that means is when you need these relationships, 
you'll be able to derive them on the fly, just what you need. And I promise it's faster than looking in a book. It's faster than looking at your reference book too. All right, okay, looking at the chat. Manny said, everything is clear now, great. Nice job explaining, glorious. I like this slide, good, 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 great. Um, so these are equal, the reason why these two are equal, um, it's, it's, we don't have the time to go into that today and to be fair, I wouldn't spend too much time digging into it. Um, I would say, I think Chapman, Chapman's book does a good job showing why these are equal if, if you're really interested, but I wouldn't spend too much time there unless you're, you're ahead of schedule. Uh, one thing to note, um, sometimes people will incorrectly add the common power with the series winding power trying to get the apparent power of the transformer. Do not do that. In other words, S does not equal SC plus SE. Careful there. Um, what else? Oh, um, someone asked this before at the very beginning. What if I asked you to calculate the rating of the auto transformer in volt amps? How would you do that? How would you calculate the rating of the, of the transformer in volt amps? And let's, I'm gonna use red so it stands out. Secondary side numbers. Well, Nordy, what if, if our efficiency is one? If efficiency is equal to one, then both of these are gonna equal. This is the transformer rating on the volt amps, right? Um, if efficiency does not equal to one, if efficiency does not equal to one, then here's your power rating of the transformer, your secondary side values. And then efficiency gets you to your input power. Don't worry, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but we're gonna see that coming up too. 